Yep. Hey, it's Aaron from GameWithUs.com, checking out Clockwork Aquario on the PS5. I believe it's also been released for the Switch, and it's an in-in release. I've played a bunch of cotton games and other things that all have sort of a similar uh, similar UI, which is fine. Uh, so just a little bit of history. I'll probably get wrong. Clockwork Aquario was being worked on like in the early not like 92 so was like 91 like 93 for a particular Sega arcade board or arcade mode and it never came out so yeah and apparently in in with some of the original developers I guess I don't know got the rights to it and they put it out so it was never it's not like it's a re-release it was never actually finished apparently I guess they had uh, done some, uh, I guess some focus group testing or like they, you know, as they would do, they would release an arcade game and, you know, get some, get some thoughts and things on it. I guess it was not, uh, people weren't really feeling it. So anyway, this is it. Um, I don't know what to do in terms of this play. I'm okay with things get stretched. I know some people get really freaked out about that kind of stuff. I don't know. Let's keep it extra crispy. There's a ton of little options and stuff here. All right, so you have three different characters to pick from. Huck, Londo, El Moon, and Gush. Uh, let's check out El Moon. I think they're all somewhat similar. I believe Gush has a longer reach. So you can jump on enemies, but they, or you can also like slap them and then pick them up and destroy them, I guess. I can jump, oh, well, yeah, that didn't really restrict my point. I can jump on the enemy, pick it up, duck, and then throw it, and I guess get more points for doing that. It is a nice looking game, though, I have to say. And so you kind of pick it up automatically, so I just coming in any kind of contact with it, you automatically just grab it, which is kind of cool. If I can get a little. Yeah, I got both. Look at that. That was dumb. <laughs> Okay. So I mean, it's kind of cool that a game that, I mean, never really got played <coughs> for for reasons is available. That's kind of cool, you know. Hey, look at that. Okay. Give me that. Reminds me of the fish from uh. From Mega Man 2. Uh oh. Okay, you can drink that for more health. I kind of wanted to, pop, you know, kind of combo that up and. Oh well. Okay, these go all the way down, so I have to be careful with those. Well, not all of them, but some of them. Oh. Well, I'm doing this so, taking all these risks for like no real reason. Ah, I didn't jump off it fast enough. All right, there we go. Very colorful game. If you're into that kind of thing, I can't. I, I can't double jump or anything. So, oh, don't really need to. One, two, three, four. Yay! You can slap these too. Everybody's a chance to get slapped, and who doesn't like that? And of course, we have a boss. Okay. Oh. I get the feeling I was supposed to do something differently. Oh. I 
Okay, it's flashing. That that flashing normally means something good. Oh, oh I had iframes at least. I want to get that star apart. I know she can like shoot out stars and stuff. Okay, let me give this a better shot. Ah, no. Am I running out of time? No, just the just the song. Much more expedient just to just to slap the boss. That yep. Made more sense. Slap it up. Okay. I've heard the game is fairly short. I mean that's not like a huge surprise. It was an arcade game. Keep wasting that thing. Can I throw up? Yep. <coughs> you can throw up. Oop. No. No. Okay. Fine, fine, fine. One, two, three. Okay. I'm not sure what that one. Oh, that the flashing ones are the ones that get bigger. So okay, you can use those to get up to other other platforms and things. That's kind of cool. Uh, let me grab this and throw at the right time. Okay, so yeah, she was not full of health. So yeah, that made. Oh. Diamonds. Okay, more diamonds. They are forever. For a second, I thought I was going to fall off a cliff. Like, I'm not going to lie to you. I heard it when it came down, but then I got hurt by it. Oh no, I didn't. Okay, that, that, maybe it had an eye frame. That's why I heard it. Seriously, I don't really need the health now. Maybe I do. Let's see. Ah, okay, now I have to star thing. I could have used that like 20 minutes ago. Where were you? Ah, it's gone. That's pretty cool though. You could throw a bunch of stars. Look, I'm just dying like left and right here. Alright, where's Flotsam and Jetsam the eels? Oh, well, I guess they have. Yeah, they're more like fish than eels, but whatever. Oh. Yeah, I figured I'd get to the bottom of one of those at some point. Uh, let's try a different character. Uh, let's try this guy whose name I forgot. Okay, the cloud gets bigger so you don't fall off the cliff. Which I appreciate, as someone who often falls off clips. Good for being evil, yes. It's true. I'm fighting some sort of a crab boss. Yeah, 
I'm not really doing very well here. But the health is dropping, so we'll take it. Ah. I think I have like unlimited continues, right? What am I doing? So there's like a lot going on, but then there's really not <laughs> like you kind of there's not really a whole lot going on. It just sometimes seems like it. It's funny the guy or whatever the whatever the thing inside the um, the crab was the for the main antagonist. Oh, wow. OK. Reminds me of Rayman when you defeat whatever the, those things are and they run out of the, the little ship. Pick this up. We gotta take that. Uh, okay. Two, three. Hey, the stars. Let's see how long I can keep it. See how long it lasts, too. Something tells me. I don't hear any kind of music chant. Oh, and there we go. It's gone. It was fun while it lasted. Okay, drink the juice. You didn't drink the juice. You threw the juice. Don't throw your juice. Drink the juice. The juices. Come on, seriously? Okay, let's try the robot. Whatever the robot's name is. I forgot all the characters' names. Okay, this is frustrating because you... Okay, I'll just move on top of it. That's kind of annoying. That's like bad placement. But his punch reach is much further. So maybe the robot is like the easy mode. Whatever. However you want to put it. I'm starting to feel like this is colorful and it's cool that it's out. I don't feel like this is too much on this. Like this nice, bright colors, big enemies, a lot of detail, great sprite work, but like everything is a hazard almost. Like everything you touch is going to probably kill you. Like it's cool, but then it's like this is annoying because it's everything I touch will possibly kill me. I can't even see what that is. Oh, like a, another giant crab thingy. Let me stop jumping on these and just punch them. I don't know why I keep doing it. Just punch them. There's really no point doing anything else. Take that. Oh, I keep trying to jump on everything. Just punch half the stuff anyway. And that worked out well. Okay. No, insert coin. What are you doing? No. Ah, no. I'm hitting the button. Ah, oh, I guess I ran out of continues. Oh, well. Why can't I? Nope, I put the wrong initials in. You figure out no. All right, so yeah, Clockwork Aquario. But of course, there's more here than just just that. Let me see if I can. What button can I just keep getting credits with? I'm thinking of an emulator, of course. No, no, no. I want to go back. No, 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 no. no. No, nope, don't want that. Okay, start does nothing. 
Don't want to take a screenshot. Wow. I don't know. Ah, okay. Uh, I want to close the game. To the training mode, use of the mechanics, to credits, and after stage two. Okay, I had it on normal. I feel like I went through a lot more than nine or five credits, but whatever. Um, there's an arcade mode, unlocked after the game was beaten once. So apparently you can go in and mess around with the dip switches like an actual arcade board and kind of do whatever you want. I think assignments is misspelled, but that's cool. Um, I'm not really sure what I'm doing, so I should probably just stop. But I think if you mess around in there, you can just. What? Zero. What? Stop playing. Um. It was a gallery. Hey, look at that. From the early 90s. Is he pointing a gun right at you? Like, seriously? Yeah, so 91. I mean, this is... I got This will... Like, in 91? Yeah, only an arcade game can really look this good, I guess guess yeah i mean it have much sega cd or anything experience like i knew like one kid who had that back in the day so yeah i was probably still playing super nintendo probably i was well Super Nintendo came out in 91 or 90 i didn't get one so 92 i'm rambling um what button am i pressing i'm pressing x oh it's grayed out for a reason. Unlocks after you beat level three. So, okay. So this training mode is about. Just curious. Uh, Gush. Can I remember his name? Good old Gush. I mean, it does kind of show you kind of everything you need to know. You can either jump on the enemy. The problem is jump on them. It's hard to move far enough left or right once you're in the air to not fall right back on them. Now, it's much easier to see him take damage because his head falls off. The other characters, their faces look kind of weird once they take damage. I think you take two hits. His head falls off. So that, you know, no uncertain terms that, that you're a little bit hurt. You know, there's not much confusion there if your head falls off. Just saying. You can't retrieve your head. That's kind of it. And your mouth is kind of crooked too. So there's a whole lot going on. Man. You're up with some serious problems. You got a little mini boss. We don't even they didn't even tell you. It was like, oh, there's a mini boss. Oh, really? Okay. You can just pick it up and smash it, and you're fine. No. If I throw this at an enemy, is that even worth it? Not really. I could use it for health, but whatever. Ooh, y'all. Gonk. Okay, so training mode is kind of, you know, yeah. Stage one. Who knew? You know? Okay. Can you throw down? You can throw down. Look at that. I can take this little clam and whatever it is. Oyster. I always get this confused. I don't know why. Whoop. And whoop. I jumped on it twice. Ooh yeah, ooh yeah. And then you run off stage. I'm just gonna walk up to this thing and just punch it right in the face. Cause it's just faster that way. And... Yay. And he's right, just punch him. What are you doing, man? He'll be here celebrating. He's celebrating too early. Yo! Let's 
something up there if I jump on all these things? I wonder. I'm gonna punch this one, pick it up, throw it. Anyway, um, yeah. So that is a little bit of Clockwork Aquario. Um, no, no, it's it's fun. It, you know, I feel like '91. This would have been dope. I mean, it's a very, very good looking game. Very bright, colorful pixel art. It's nice to look at. And the gameplay is it's an arcade platformer. You know, it's kind of what you'd expect. So. But it's cool that it got uh, finished enough to release. So that's kind of dope. So Clockwork Aquario. Anyway, that's going to do it for me. Uh, Aaron from GameEnthuse.com. Enjoy the video. And uh, watch other videos, all that good stuff. Some stuff should be on screen. Watch that stuff. Do that. All right. I'm out. All right. Stay safe. Take care. Be blessed.